And when I choose your attitude, when I choose your attitude, what are the things that? So you can choose your attitude by leaving your problems out. Those don't bring you up. You would have had a fight with your spouse in the morning and don't bring that anger to the children in the classroom. Teacher, please never do that. Please never do that. Leave it at it. Leave it at those steps. Gate steps, not those steps. I'm sorry, you're not supposed to get into your problems into the school, and that's going to really impact the little children. Please don't leave it outside. If the family is too loving, there could be too much of frictions between the spouse, between the husband and the wife. And the second, energetic. Teacher, I would say you can have early morning, the first period, all teachers like this by the evening. My dear, my dear students, today I'm going to take on the life cycle of, you know, mosquito, life cycle of mosquito, with lot of health energy. The same energy what you have in the morning at 9 o'clock when you started the first class, by the time you leave at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock from your school to your home, the same energy must be there. You see, most of teachers, they dress up well in the morning by the evening, you know, holding the hands. Totally hair is like mine, but keep yourself fresh. Wash your face in between the classes. You can choose your attitude. Show the pleasantness. The next one is, yes, the commitment. If the teacher doesn't have the commitment to complete a portion of time, the teacher doesn't have a commitment of having committed that I will get you all those answer sheets on 15th of September at 4 p.m. And the teacher doesn't keep up the commitment. You're gone. You're missing to a teacher. Because you know, the moment you come into the children, 14, 15 children are waiting for that. And the teacher comes, oh my God. I'm sorry, children. Choose your attitude. Choose your attitude. And the next one is, of course, this is going to help you. you know, being positive, that will inspire those around you to have. Read it out. I, I don't like to read it out. Read it out. Respond to problems and mistakes. Oh my God. I generally don't like such long, but I felt. My colleague said if you want to write long, teachers will read long. Teachers will remember and keep that in mind. And the last one response, respond to problems and mistakes in a way that will strengthen your relationship with your students. Read it up. It is in English. It's in simple English. Simple English. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's change. Play. When I say play, what do you get out of the play? I said, have fun. Yes. Teachers, do People who fear are dead. Eliminate the fear when you. With all, all the 40, 50 children, whether the 10th standard, 11th standard, nothing wrong. You know, when they all walk together, play together, you, you eliminate the fear. The second is when you share any jokes uh -huh, with students, it's fun for them. I always, whenever I orient children, I orient teachers, I start with an anecdote which make my viewers, my participants, so thrilled and happy and joyful and having fun. What is life here? Zindagi to kisi ko rode ke liye nahi hai. Zindagi to has has ke dine ke liye hai. Hasiye. Let's make our life. It's not how long you live. It's how well you live which matters, teachers. Thank you, children. Love. And imposing funny activities in the classroom, right? You can play. You need to impose some activity. Jump like a monkey. Ta, ta, ta. Fun. People, hey, 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 mom. Now, it depends on which class. Don't go to the plus one and say, jump like a monkey. You will have problems. You will jump like a monkey in the class. Don't do that. All right, let's go to the next slide. And when I go to the next slide, it very clearly proves how this play is going to happen. Let me tell you, most of our classes are very boring. But if you have some play, it's going to be interesting. You get the point. In between some plays and some few marks up. And the time passes. You don't know why. Come on, what's the time? Oh. Krishna has been talking, he's been, what's the time? Oh, it's 40 minutes since Krishna started. I think the boring session, oh my god. Okay. But is this guy talking? No, I miss the time, just time is going the same speed. But we feel when the class is so playful and joyful and 
lot of fun. You don't even know how the time runs. Time never runs fast. And you know, that bonding with the children, when you all love together, that bonding is what takes you long run. Takes your, take your relationship long run. And this is going to happen. The next slide, please. Wow, the next is, I said make their day. When you make their day, right, go ahead. When you make their day, you know, there are some special requests for children. There are children who wouldn't understand even if you repeat 10 times. But there are children like, not me, there are some children who would understand with one, one, one explanation. I think that special requirement of children who are not able to understand. If they don't understand, it's your incapability because you are paid to teach all the students, 40, 50 students. So it is an incapability. But if you can make us those special requests, with that extra time, right? it is it will work wonders. Having a student of the month in Sydney, you keep somebody, you know, like two, three, four, you have done something, something in Sydney. So many students will come forward. He had a problem, I solved it out for him, and this one more, but he, she had a problem, I solved it out. So make their day. Give some incentives when they come out with doubts. When they have problems, don't fire at them, don't shout at them, don't yell at them, don't you are, you have to incentivize. The more number of incentives to students to come out with the problem, when you support them, teachers, solve it. The next one is, the next one is, making their day will help the trust between the teacher and the student. And then the entire class becomes a team. And you know when it behaves like a team, wow, wow, it's, 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 it's unbelievable, right? And that will lead our children to do better in their academics and for a holistic growth of our children. Let's change the slide and go to the next slide, please. And be there, as I said, you can't plan your future being in the future, you can plan your future being in the present. So be in the present. So you know, you have to have a, you must be a good listener. You initiate. Come on, tell me, what did you understand? Leave it. Listen. Yeah. There are some teachers keep on talking like me. Don't be that. You must be. A good communicator is one who listens. Not who. Talk. Then, you know, you need to have direct eye contact. When you talk to, when you, when you talk to a student, I know eye contact. Don't talk. Hi, I was asking some question and then why did you not reply to my question? Why did you not do it? Eye contact. That eye contact between the student and the teacher creates that bonding and the confidence between both of you. And individual attention you know, has to be given. Now, take care. The individual attention, oh my, what is that? What is this? What is that? What? And ask some sincere questions. Don't be just a usual stuff. The teacher will finish some 10 minutes of teaching, going around, the, going around like this, suddenly one fall off. You ask a question now. When you ask a question, let the question be sincere. Not to check. And if it doesn't answer the teacher, it's your fault, not the student's fault. So ask sincere questions. Don't just bully your student. Please don't do that. Don't ask questions to bully them. Please, my request. Maybe I'm sounding harsh, but that. My experience stop. Let's let's hear something more that bothered us. How it's going to help you? Uh, this way it's going to help you. You can strengthen the relationship with your students, you can earn respect of students by showing respect. Keep respect and take respect. Don't make your students say good morning, guys. Good afternoon, fellas. Don't wait. You can say good afternoon, child. Go and just little small little children. Bring them close to you. You just hug them. They will respect you. They will respect you. When you respect them, don't even treat them. Just wish them. Doesn't matter if a child doesn't wish the teacher. Don't be angry with the child. You can go and wish. Good afternoon, little child. What happened to you? You're, you're, you're upset on something? Ah, that's enough. 
Taking a step to you now. Oh, I'm the teacher. Come, come to my class. Come on. I'll, no, no, that doesn't really work. And take some different dust, efficient, not the same usual stuff. Different routes, different directions, different guidance, different way. Then you'll be there. The same stuff. Morning you take. One class you take that depends in the morning, and other times you take in the last. Or sometimes you take it midway. Others one teachers. The morning you go in, first thing is the rituals. Mother Krish, presents are. Head the top, presents sir. You should have that having the morning, you know, comes from the bottom, something, you know. The different tasks can make your class efficient. I promise you that.